Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is remove k digits. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given a non-negative integer num representing as a string, remove k digits from the number so that the new number is the smallest possible. And we are given with note, the length of the num is less than 1002 and will be greater than or equal to k. The given num does not contain any leading zero. And if you look at example number one, I have 1432219 and we have to remove three numbers. And if we check, if we remove 432, then we will get the smallest possible number. And if you look at example number two, we are given with 10200 and k is one. And if I will remove one, then I will get the smallest possible number. But you will see after removing one, I am left with 0200. But in that case, I have to return 200. And if you look at example number three, we have one zero and we have to remove two. And if we remove one and zero, we are left with nothing. In that case, we have to return zero. And let's see how we can solve this problem. After that, we will see the code. I have taken these two examples and the question is asking that we need to remove k elements from the given string and this is a string. Let's take k equal to 3. That means we need to remove 3 element and we need to remove 3 element in such a way that we get the possible smallest number. And if I talk about these two examples and if I ask you that you have to remove 3 numbers, which one will you remove? to get the smallest number. At example number one, we will remove these two. At example number two, we will remove these two. And let's see why. If you see carefully, we have to remove a number which makes the most impact. And how we can check that? If I say while moving from left to right, I will compare my current number with the previous number. And if the previous number is greater than the current number, we will delete the previous number. And if we implement it here, I have 9. I don't have any number prior to this, so I came to 8. I checked my previous number and previous number is greater than 8. So I will delete it. I came to 7. I will check for previous number. Previous number is greater than 7, so I will remove it. I came here. I will check for the previous number and the previous number is greater than 6 so I will delete that and I have to remove 3 elements and you can see this is the smallest possible number I can get from this number but if you will gonna implement this same logic on example number 1 I will check here I don't have any previous number I check here previous number is smaller than this number Again, I will check the previous number is again smaller than 3. Previous number is again smaller than 4. And same goes on. And at the end, you will find that you haven't deleted any number. So how to resolve that problem? Before we see that problem, let's see how I can check the previous number. And if the previous number is greater than the current number, how to remove that? For that, we can use a stack. And if I write that example again, what I will gonna do, I will gonna look through it and I will gonna take the number and I will push it to stack. Again, I will check, I will take the another number and before pushing it to the stack, I will compare it with the stack minus one, which is the top element. So I will gonna compare it with stack minus one. And if the stack minus 1 is greater, I will gonna delete it. So I will gonna simply pop it. So now my stack is empty. So I pushed 8. I came to 7. Again, before pushing, I will check if stack minus 1 is greater than 7. Yes, it is. Then I will gonna pop it and then I will gonna push 7. 
again I will check for 6 and before pushing 6 I will check whether the stack minus 1 is greater than 6 or not yes it is then again I will gonna pop and I will gonna append 6 and as we have popped 3 element so we know now we don't have to delete any other number then I will simply push every single element and at the end I will return them in form of a string for that we can use dot join but if we implement same thing with example number one so I have this check I pushed one so this was the example I push one I came to two I will check whether stack minus one is greater than two or not it is not then I will simply gonna push two I will check for three two is not greater than three then I will simply gonna push three three is not greater than four then I will gonna push four four is not greater than five then I will push five in the case of six again I will check and I find five is not greater than six then I will gonna push six and in the same way I will gonna push all those elements and at the end what I will simply gonna do I will gonna delete top three element because we have to remove three elements and at the end again I will use join and will return it as a string so these were two examples but suppose we got this example and we have to remove k equal to 2 so again we made a stack I pushed 9 I came to 8 I will check whether stack minus 1 which is 9 is greater than 8 or not yes it is then we will gonna pop it and I will gonna push 8 I came to 0 again I will check whether 8 is greater than 0 or not yes it is again I will gonna pop and I will push 0 again I came to 0 and 0 is not greater than 0 so again I will push it I came to 2 then 3 and then 4 and even when I was here when I push 2 I have already I have already deleted 2 elements so at the end I left with this but instead of this 2 3 4 and for that I can use L strip because L strip will remove the leading elements and whatsoever I will pass here and if I will pass 0 it will gonna remove 3 elements in this way I will be left with 2 3 4 and this is the solution so these are the ways we can solve this question and if you look at these are the main edge cases we have that it may be possible that we reach to the end and we haven't deleted any element then we I will simply gonna remove last k element from the number and if you have any leading zeros after removing k elements then I can simply use L strip to remove zeros so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's look at the code at line number four I have defined the stack and I've taken a variable which is equal to k then I'm taking a for loop in num and I have four condition while number to remove exists and stack exists and stack tops element is greater than the current element or you can say current element is less than the stacks top element if these three conditions are true I will gonna pop from the stack because if the previous element is greater than the current element we have to pop it and when I'm popping I'm reducing the number to remove value and after that I'm appending the current element to the stack this was the steps for example number two if you remember from the examples and here is I'm joining my list to make it a string and I'm removing k element from the stack because if you if you remember about the example number one from where we are taking 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
at the last when we reach we found that we haven't removed any number so at the end what i'm simply doing i'm removing k element from the stack and i'm using l strip to remove the leading zeros l strip remove the element from the starting and i'm passing zero so it will remove zeros from the starting and then if length of answer exists i will simply gonna return answer else i will gonna return zero so let's check whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the code for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe